Well, if there's any emotions left from the weekend that was for the UTEP Miners taking that 21-point loss to UTSA this past Saturday, we bring in the UTEP Miners head coach, Dana Dimmel, for our weekly coaches show. And coach, there was a lot of juice, a lot of buildup for that game against the Roadrunners. Maybe too much, though, you think? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't think we played our best football. You know, maybe our guys were a little bit nervous. Uh, they made some nervous mistakes, you know, and I was just trying to, you know, tell them, to my, talking to myself, hey, guys, just relax. It's going to be okay, you know. But again, it was a big spotlight for them to have, you know, be on national TV and have all those fans. You know, I think we played a little bit nervous at times. And not the best day special teams wise for you guys, either Gavin Beckley, a couple of the misses there in the first half. What's your confidence like in Beckley right now? Oh, great, because he came back and made a 50 yarder, Nate. You know, I was so excited about that. You know, that's why I pointed out to the guys. I said, you know what, you're going to make mistakes, but you got to come back and you got to put it behind you. And that's so important for a person in his position. And you know, we're going to need him down the stretch run here. Uh, you know, for our last regular, our last three regular season games, it's going to be big for Gavin to step up. And I totally believe in him. And he kicked the ball really well in practice. Is UTSA, is that a program that you hope to emulate? You hope to one day get there down the road? Oh, I don't, I, I, you know, someone asked me that question before. I don't need to emulate anything. We're six and three right now, okay? So we're pretty darn good ourselves. You know, emulating them, they got 37 seniors. If we had 37 seniors, maybe we'd be, you know, a, a, a lot different. You know, maybe we'd be nine and zero. But nine and zero is a great year for them. But you know, again, how, are they going to be able to repeat that next year? You know, the, the it's all going to tell. You know, how they what they do after they lose these 37 seniors on their football team. You guys now six and three, but back to back losses. Maybe a little bit more sense of urgency here this week. Well, there's there's been a sense of urgency all the time. You know what I mean? There's always a sense of urgency date. Uh, every game you play is a big game, and so you know we want to get back on the winning trail for sure. North Texas, not like the mean green of old. This is a, a more defensive-minded team of, under a new defensive coordinator and a team that likes to run the football. Yeah, no doubt. They do love to run. I mean, they're really, really running the football, and they're running it well, and they're playing good defense lately, and they're on a two-game win streak. They're going to be running right into that front seven, the heart of your defense right there. Maybe a chance uh, for some big-time bounce back for those guys, maybe a little mm -hmm. more hunger. Exactly. We need to defend the run really well this week, and we're going to get super challenged, you know. And so what a good test for us to get back and have a great defensive day. It would get our confidence back. Up. Jacob Cowing dinged up there a bit against UTSA. Will he be ready to go there come Saturday? Oh yeah, he should be good to go. You know, and um, by you know by midweek he'll be practicing and ready to go. So again, he had another hundred yard receiving game, and so he's really stacking them up now. How about Davion Inyang? Missed that game against UTSA. Really suffered there. Did the secondary there at points in the ball game. Obviously, Justin Prince not going to be back for this weekend. But what about Inyang? Inyang, I don't. You know, he's day to day right now. It's a pain thing, and we'll just have to see if he's able to make it this weekend or not. But it's glad we got good news over the weekend that his, you know, prognosis was a positive one, and that uh, we expect him back sooner than we initially thought. So we're just kind of right now, it's just kind of let pain be the guide and see how quickly he can get himself back out there. Coach, thanks so very much for joining us. Good luck this weekend in Denton against your uh, your old pal there. Seth Latrell, but a chance to get win number seven. Yeah, no doubt. From football.